Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to check if your Windows license is retail, OEM, or volume. In other words, what type of license do you have? Can you transfer it to another computer, etc.? So it's actually pretty easy to do. You want to copy and paste this code here, or you can type it in. You'll notice it's SLMGR dash or forward slash, doesn't matter, DLI. You can type that in. You don't even have to use the uppercase S, by the way. It's just habit. So to open your command prompt, we'll do the Windows key plus S, and we'll type in CMD. I almost always run as administrator. You do not need to here. So when you see command prompt, click on it. And once again, control V to paste, or type in the SLMGR space dash DLI. Once I press enter, it's going to open the Windows script host. My computer is pretty fast. It'll open in a second or two. You might have to wait a little bit, but it shouldn't be too long. There you go. So what we have here is I have the Windows Professional Edition, and I am in the retail channel. That means it is a retail copy of Windows. We'll explain all that in a minute. Uh, try not to bore you to tears. Partial product key and your license status licensed. So you can click OK on this and close it. And let's just spend a minute explaining to you the differences between the three real quick. Retail means you bought it. I did. I walked into Best Buy. I bought it. I walked out. I have it in my hand with a key on the back. Or you bought it online. But you have typically with retail means you have a physical DVD with Windows 10 on it. You can also remove it and transfer it to another computer. However, you can only have it on one computer at the time. So we have some guides you can find and right here how to transfer your Windows 10 license to another computer and that explains to you how to go about removing it from one computer so that you can install it on another retail means or I'm sorry OEM means that you bought it and it's on your computer it's probably built into your BIOS or UEFI this means your product key on OEM is tied to that computer for life that's that you typically don't have a copy there's a hidden partition that holds Windows 10 for reinstalling if you don't know where it is, you can try the control panel, restore. Sometimes Dell, Hewitt Packard, Compaq put a recovery setup in there. Otherwise, you'll have to Google, let's say, Dell, model number, factory reset. And typically, when you reboot, you'll hold down a key, just guessing F2, F5. One of those keys will typically bring you into a setup where you can reinstall Windows. Of course, you'll have to reinstall Windows with all the junk that came on in almost all situations but hey it is what it is that's OEM they get a discount and that's why it's just tied to the one computer that's it so and that's the price you didn't pay to get a cheap copy of Windows 10 uh, you may see some other stuff like OEM SLP that's almost the exact same thing however there's no activation required so it's just installed and done so you, you might see OEM SLP every once in a while. And somebody actually pointed it out to me because I had forgotten about it. Volume, typically big companies, educational institutions, government, they'll buy volume licenses in bulk so they can just install them. These are neat if you happen to have one, depending on how many keys there are. I used to have one years ago as a Microsoft MVP. Like, here, have a volume license. Well, it turns out that it was actually limited to, I think, maybe a hundred so I don't know it depends how many they bought so the one problem with these keys of course is people start using them here and there and if some of these companies bought 10,000 keys when they hit 10,000 the keys no good anymore but basically that's all it is so it allows these companies to just mass deploy uh, with a single license so and there you go that's the three differences but you know for you and me we probably have retail or OEM but now you know at least how to find out what you have and what you can do with it so uh, not too exciting you know what I mean so but there you go that's how to do it and as always the little subscribe button shows up way over here in the right corner the little tiny major geeks logo you click on that and you can subscribe and I gotta be honest man I, I hate doing this every time so I try to avoid it but you know what click like throw me some love thanks for watching everybody see you next time